Hi, I'm Brian Hamilton, head football coach at Foothill High School in Palisadero, California. And on this DVD, I want to show you how we've implemented the play action pass and the screen pass off our fly sweep fake from the shotgun, shotgun zone fly offense. As with all good running games, a good passing game can come off the effectiveness of the running game. And we certainly want to implement passes that uh, utilize the fly sweep fake and the defense's uh, adjustment to that. And one of the things that we, one of the plays that we've been most successful at is the waggle. Um, I want to take some time right now to talk about the patterns of the waggle, the action as far as the quarterback meshing of the waggle, uh, and the, the O-line blocking on the waggle. First thing, let's talk about receiver routes and the waggle. I've got drawn up here a flex. That's our tight end. That's our sweeper, our wing, our X, quarterback, and halfback. We can run the waggle out of any formation, and we do. But our rules stay, always stay the same. We are going to start with a fly sweep fake. That's going to start the play. And we are going to sell 100% that we are running sweep. This causes a reaction by the defense, either a rolling, a sliding, some type of reaction in order to get defenders over this part of the field. The route combinations waggle are very simple. The first receiver to the side that we are going, rolling to, and we'll talk about the action and the mesh in just a minute, but let's talk about receiver routes. If we're running 18, meaning the quarterback's rolling to the right side, if we run an 18 waggle, the first receiver to the side that we are running the play to has a corner route. If they were out in a regular wide receiver split, then they would run a vertical route, ending up in the same place. The next receiver over is the back. The back is going to have a what we call a bench route, meaning that he is going to angle his route a little deeper than an arrow, getting to eight yards. On this corner route, we want to break on the corner at 10 to 12 yards working our way to the corner and not reducing this angle so that there's spacing between these two routes. Working our way right to left, the next receiver over, in this case it's the wing, has a drag, meaning he will inside release and he will be on the play side guard, he will be at four yards. On the opposite side, he will be at six yards depth and once he clears the tackle, he will be at 10 to 12 yards depth. That's his aiming point, coming all the way across. He also must keep a relationship with the quarterback in which he is slightly ahead of the quarterback's role. The next receiver, the last receiver over, has a post. The angle on that post is going to be either splitting a cover two or replacing a safety that has rolled out of position and then getting skinny up the field. No matter what we run this out of, formation-wise, this is our route combination for our base waggle pass. One has either a vertical, if he's at a normal receiver split, 